While Reformation was in full swing in the early 16th century, a complete Protestant Bible did not exist. As the Reformers had declared the Bible the primary basis of Christian faith, the need for a complete German edition was very strong, especially since many of the faithful could not read Latin, let alone Greek or Hebrew. There were some partial translations, such as Luther's New Testament from 1522, but there was no complete translation. The market for a German version of the Bible was huge, so several teams of translators entered a kind of race. In this setting, the Worms printer Peter Schäffer had a creative business idea. The son of the Gutenberg employee had familiarized himself the ideas of the Reformation and Anabaptism early on. Between 1520 and 1529, his print shop released several works of Anabaptists, including the famous first translation of the Protestant Prophets by Hans Denk und Ludwig Hetzer. Since copyright was unknown at the time, business-minded Schaeffer simply put together the parts of the Bible that had already been translated and created a first complete Bible. This so-called combined Bible was came on the market in 1529, making it the first full Protestant Bible ever. The Zurich Bible was published two years later under Zwingli's direction and it was actually not until 1534 that the famous Luther Bible would be completed. The beautiful print of Schaeffer's full Bible is illustrated with many woodcuts by the well-known painter and graphic artist Anton Wönsam. Also characteristic of Schaeffer's prints are the large calligraphic initials, which were used in aforementioned translation of the Prophet as early as in 1527. The extremely rare first editions of both works, the Worms Bible and the Worms Prophets, are offered in our upcoming auction on November 28, 2022.